Follow these simple steps when using the VIA server's interactive website for your project. First, visit the DNA Learning Center sponsored by the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Click on the www.viaservers.org on the home screen. You can also visit directly the BioServers interactive website at www.bioservers.org. In the BioServers homepage, you can choose Sequence Server, Allele Server, and Simulation Server. Click Enter for Sequence Server. To start with your comparison, click Manage Group. And from the Sequence Sources drop down menu, choose Romanov Family Mitochondrial DNA. From the list, check Skeleton 3, Skeleton 5, Skeleton 7, Skeleton 9. Prince Philip and Anna Anderson. Then click OK. Before you compare the mitochondrial DNA sequences in the DNA sequence server, assign the basis of your comparison to Align Clustal W, then click Compare. When mitochondrial DNA sequences are generated, Observe for some mismatched DNA sequences. They are highlighted in yellow. Find the similarities and differences in the mitochondrial DNA sequences among these persons and skeletons. Take a screenshot of the mitochondrial DNA sequences that show the most mismatches. This will become a part of your project. Click Done to go back to the DNA Sequence Server. Go back to the DNA Sequence Server and change the basis of your comparison to Phylogenetic Tree. Then click Compare. You can then choose Cladogram or Phenogram for your tree style. The phylogenetic tree will be generated to show who are related to who and who are not. The branching of the phylogenetic tree indicates relatedness. If the tree branches out very far from each person, then they are not related. If the tree branches very close to another person, and they are related. Take a screenshot of the phylogenetic tree. This will become a part of your project. Click Done to go back to the DNA sequence server. This is how your project output should look like. Follow the instructions in your project profile and check your final output against the project rubric.